Hey, what's up, Tesla peeps? I just want to talk to you today about the dash cam USB that Tesla supplies you with from the factory. This little guy right in here. So they're notorious for being buggy, right? So you can see we don't even have the dash cam available. It says dash cam unavailable, check USB drive. So that's, that's pretty notorious. And then you won't get sentry mode to record and you won't be able to record to your dash cam either if this is not working. So because this stick is so buggy, and right now if I were to unplug this and plug it back in, it would work, but only temporarily. I mean, it would go maybe a day and I'd start having the same issue again. So what I recommend is getting something like this that I got off of Amazon that is super reliable and plugs right into this slot right here. And then you won't have this error pop up anymore. And you'll be able to record a lot more footage as well and not have to reformat all the time. So I'm gonna install this, show you how easy that goes, and uh, and then we'll format it in the, uh, the settings menu right here. So this guy is actually kind of super small. You can see it's a little itty bitty thing, but it's 500 gigabytes versus the 128 that Tesla gives you. And it actually gives you some adapters here to plug in to a USB-A instead of a USB-C slot. So here's the adapter for USB-C to, to USB-A. And there's a specific way that it goes on. You'll see that it has some, a couple notches right here. And those line up and then you just snap that on. Now we can take out the USB stick that Tesla supplied from the factory. Again, you can see it's not even functioning right now. Pull that out. Well, that's, that's all it is, just a 128 gigabyte little guy. And then we're gonna plug in our new drive right into that slot, just like that. And let's see over here, we've got to go into safety, sentry mode, and then we'll hit format USB drive right here. Format drive. And there you see, we now have access to dash cam and since I'm home, the sentry mode's not going to record, but we can hit that button right now and you can see that it works. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. This is a much better setup than what Tesla gives you from the factory. Uh, this 128 gigabyte piece, this, uh, this 500 gigabyte SanDisk solid state drive, I have linked to in the description. So feel free to pick that up from Amazon. It does help me with the affiliate links. So that goes appreciated. Money just goes right back into this channel to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.